Greetings, gentle folk, and let us play Dick Tracy. Judging from, from those faces, this is obviously based on the Warren Betty uh, movie from what was it, 91? And but this is not one of the crappy action games, this is Dick Tracy's crime solving adventure. And there will be some minor graphical glitches, uh, for which I apologize. I'm not a hard time getting this game to work. Oh, uh, I wanted to get right out to drive, and yes, I did just run over some unlucky pedestrian, and again, but hey, they get back up. All, all you are penalized for that really is, I think, how much your car is damaged. Crashing into other cars or running over pedestrians damages your car, or at least according to the manual, it damages your car more than just crashing into walls. However, that works. Now, Dick Trace looks like one Betty, and that Rick Manlis was it? Oh, great. He's not the main villain in the movie. Mugging 107. I'm on my way. 7 J Avenue. So I need to be turning around and heading roughly to the northeast. Ugh. Oh no. Okay, this is 8th Street. Uh, enough in getting to the scene of the crime, you can catch the perpetrator in person, and if you manage to fetch... Okay, uh. okay, yeah, and yeah, I'm blowing up cars left and right, and I also managed to... Oh great, if you bump into one of those criminal cars which will for some reason drive purple cars, you'll just accost them and <sighs> pull them over for uh, questioning or trying to arrest them or something. I'll see you later. I'll just get back there, and this is not of too good to start. Yeah, if you respond to the scene of crime quick enough, you can catch the perpetrator personally. Well, you you can then chase them down, though usually they are very difficult to catch at that point in my experience so far. What happened here? Are you all right? I was mugged, and the thug got away with all my dough. <sighs> okay, head towards south end. Oh, let's pick up the clues. And so, even if you don't manage to, you know, arrest the criminal in person, you know, just seeing them will immediately tell you who it was, and you you can pass on the, you know, evidence collecting path and matching it to the 
suspects. <sighs> okay. Now we have a couple of clues. Go and this stuff over to the crime lab. <laughs> Here are the results from the lab, boys. Dun, Good work. Dun, dun. Okay, so let's take a look at the rogues gallery. I think we will have. Okay. Address unknown. Yeah, lips man is yeah. So we don't have. Yeah, you can also find, you know, shards of glass with blood on it in some crime scenes, which you can then test for blood type. Let's see. Hmm. Right. Um, um, what about that hair I got? The lab boys have nothing to do. Go get some clues, Tracy. Uh, what? I picked up a hair, didn't I? Oh, did I miswear it? Um, uh, Lives in the south end. Hmm. Okay. Uh, something weird going on now. This game is not the main villain of the movie who was played by Al Pacino, but the Eclipse Man is who was played by Paul Salvino. Which I think did got a bit of pretty good likeness in that opening screen. Okay. Let me just. Yeah, you'll just. Uh huh. Weird. What happened here? Are you all right? I was mugged, and the thug got away with all my dough. Hmm. Okay. Ah, I actually didn't know you. Could what happened here? Are you all right? Interview the witnesses mugged, further. And the thug got away with all my dough. Okay. What happened here? Are you all right? <clears throat> <laughs> okay. Well. That's helpful. Uh, uh, so, of course, we are going to consider this eyewitness victim's account of the height of the criminal completely reliable, and that's going to be used in the court of law. The wrong street, aren't I? Um, yeah, I, okay. Ow! Not what I wanted to do! <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm going to need to get my car fixed. <sighs> okay, five foot six. So, 
Student. Huh. That actually narrows it down a fair bit. About five foot six and uh, so five foot three. Well, a three inch difference seems. I'm pretty sure the main guy is not going to be the. Uh, the perpetrator of the first crime. Okay, so Rodent seems like a valid suspect. Things we can use to help us solve the case first would be nice if nice if I find a garage where I can get this fixed. Uh, I'm actually trying to trying to get to What Rodent has to say for himself. Okay, talk. See you later, Flatfoot. Okay. Oh, okay. Rodent is. Guy in purple. Uh, so All right, all right, I'll park. Don't hurt me. Okay, so uh what are we going to ask from him? Hmm. Himself, I guess? Tell me everything you know about you. I don't know nothing. Honest, Tracy. Really? himself into a pretty bad state. Get out of the car. <sighs> I'll see you later. stage and uh, uh, is this thing on oh sorry um, the main reason to come here is to head up the back here into the 
dressing room or whatever. And have a chat with Have you got something for me, Breathless? I sure do, Tracy. But right now I thought you should know about this. Hmm B Avenue. <coughs> okay, so it's B Avenue South Side. So yeah, I could just hang around here and see who turns up. I do need to get stuff fixed also. Hmm, yeah, you... As far as I can tell, you can only get one piece of information out of Breathless, as to least per case. Hey! That was rude. Girlfriend. <clears throat> oh my god, Tracy, you're a terrible mess. Let me try to patch you up. You should be more careful out there. Lip man, but you're still out there. Please be more careful. She'll patch patch Tracy up some. Street. Oops, my mistake. There are several garages sprinkled throughout the city. Just need to find one. Okay, I think that was the bridge again. I didn't want to do that. <sighs> it gets annoying how you do this every time you happen to bump into the car of one of the suspects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just I'll get later. out of your hair. The diner. This is the other way to gain health back. A bowl of my special jelly will help you bounce right back. Yeah, I can taste the rubber. Oh. <sighs> so. I guess maybe rodent wasn't a guy who did it after all. Good lord. Such irresponsible drivers in this town. City. This is not good. I try to be very, very ah, there's a garage. Uh. Yeah. 
Holy smoke, it was nearly wrecked. You got it in for me, don't you? Mm. It's nothing personal, Mac. Oddly enough, it doesn't really seem to take up any extra time. Or any longer than real time for your car to get fixed. Okay, anyways, I think here is one of the locations. No? Um, okay, I was wrong. about a criminal and well let's try to roll in have you got anything on the rodent yeah I did some sneaking around and found this now when do we eat Gives you a glass from our inside out, which is going to have the rodent's fingerprint on it. And all nobody else's, because of course you never let anyone else into your home and allow, allow them to use your, your glasses. If I can manage to find my way, I should probably write down where the police headquarters is. Wait, I did have it written down. <coughs> Here are the results from the lab, boys. Yeah, so... Good work. Okay. So the fingerprint type... fingerprint type matches. Mm. But we don't. This is not enough for a conclusive arrest, I don't think. And if you go to squad room, you'll get some uh, general advice. You gotta hit the streets and question the hoods out there. Yeah, that was really helpful. Hmm, well, at least we know, we know where the suspect lives. Because obviously when you commit a crime and run away, you are going to be heading to directly to where you live. Good. Crashing mechanics could use some improvement. Okay. On B Avenue. South side. The blank? Hmm. Don't know. Those turns, people. <sighs> yeah. What the hell are these guys doing? At home? Home face. Oh, yeah. If you get too close in following the suspect's tail speed away. Yeah. At 
least according to the manual, if you tail the suspects, they'll eventually stop by their hideout. You can ask him several times about the same suspect, though I don't think that really would help in this case since we don't have any further physical evidence to match to a specific person. And I am still sore about that hair disappearing. It also varies between the, all the suspects, whether they run away and then you follow them, uh, at least according to the manual it should at least vary uh, about how they respond to you and to confront them with a Interrogation uh, arrest. Listen, Tracy, it's a squad car, not a bulldozer. Thanks for the advice, Mac. Maybe I should try to find Rodent and tail him. Well, let's. Well, this will work for a uh, poor screen. So, we shall continue next time, maybe I'll do some exploring between videos to see where I, what I should do. Hmm.